All right, guys, we've got uh, an unrated game against somebody rated just over 1027, and it's a 10-minute game. I'm going to play e4, e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6. Very standard king's pawn opening. All right, now c3. Now, this is probably preparing d4. And um, on the other hand, it's restricting his knight. But if he gets to day play d4, um, it's also allowing his queen out. Let's notice that. If he gets to play that, then he takes, I take. Oh, it might just be worth defending this pawn one more time if I can. So I'm going to play d6. So if he plays this, I'm not going to capture and allow him to recapture with a wing pawn. Uh, I'll let him take me, then I can recapture with a pawn. I'm going to bring out my bishop now, so that if he takes, um, I can now recapture. Knight can't take. All right, he's pushed on. Interesting, right? Can't go there or there. So I've got really one, two, three, but I'm not going to retreat backwards to there. Okay. Interesting. I think this is probably the way to go. Head around to g6. So he's gained some space there. Decent opening by my opponent. And he's gone for more space. Haha. -ha. Right, I think... Okay, I'm going to develop this knight and attack this pawn because it's undefended. We'll probably get a knight out to here. He could also develop his bishop. Okay. Now, I can't pin that knight. My dark square bishop is blocked in. Let's go after the head of the pawn chain there. So if he takes now, I get to take inwards. Could even recapture with my knight. Getting out of the way of the bishop slightly. Okay, what's this? So he's attacking my knight. So I could move my knight again. If he takes, I recapture with the g pawn. That's not necessarily the end of the world. So it opens up the g file for my rook. Um, and I can still castle queenside just about. play my knight to here if he takes a recapture with the knight. Yeah, this knight's kind of in the way. It's not really doing an awful lot. Let's do that. Very convoluted opening. It's an unrated game, so there's no great incentive for my opponent to cheat on this. I wouldn't suggest that he is. Bishop there. Taking the knight will probably encourage the queen to come out. I don't really want the queen out. This pawn's defended. Can't move this knight, it's actually pinned on my queen. I could counterattack, but then if he takes the knight, I recapture, then I, I lose a piece, so that's no good. Where does my bishop want to be? That, that's not a bad place. I think if I go here, he might push g4, g4, knock me back to here, which again isn't too bad. Let's try that, let's see what he does. He likes to push his pawns. He's played seven pawn moves. No, he hasn't. He's played five pawn moves in the first ten moves. Well, more than that. More than that. He's only played three piece moves. Okay. Wow. So, looks like he's coming after my bishop, but has he miscalculated? Because I have two attackers now on there. If I... But I actually, I can't take with a knight because it's pinned, isn't it? So I'm going to probably play h6 and hit his bishop. Right, then if he advances his pawn anyway, I take his bishop. He can't take mine because rook takes rook. Alright, he's gone for the capture. Now, I have queen takes, which looks kind of good. I've got knight takes, which looks kind of good as well. Two attackers on there. That one's undefended. Knight takes it is. If he pushes this pawn, I've got even bishop takes e4. Looks alright. OK, 
Okay, bishop takes e4. I've got a knight there for the taking. There's a rook behind it in case the knight moves. This pawn's undefended. Okay, recapture. There's a nice square here for my knight. Now, can you see the problem with all these advanced pawns, right? He's He's been playing tactics with pawns early on, and um, they haven't worked. So he hasn't managed to gain any great advantage, and yet he's made it very difficult to put his king safe on either side of the board. I have a check here, which he could block with the knight, maybe takes, 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 king has to move. But then if the, remember, if the queens are off the board, um, being unable to castle is not such a, a bad thing. It may even be better. I have more central pawns. He has no pawn on the E or D files. That could be telling. Hmm. So I'm thinking I'd like to get my bishop maybe here, here. Something like that. Okay, he's coming after the knight. So I could simply retreat to here and attack this pawn which is undefended. Or I could retreat here and attack the bishop. Or I could throw in a check. Throw in a check. He, he can't block with that, and that makes no difference. So forget that idea. Uh, if he blocks with the queen, he can't. So, what's he got? Here, either the king moves, or he has to block with the knight. In which case, we trade off. Um, or he moves the king. So if he moves the king here, I simply move my knight out of the way and attack the bishop. If he moves his king here, um, same deal. So I'm going to develop my queen. He says in the chat, looks like we're not castling unless rook is needed in the center. I don't think you're castling. Hmm, so what's he going to do? Knight's also attacking this pawn. So the king, are the, I think there's three moves. Okay, we've got knight in. So if I take queen, must recapture, then I've got the option of trading queens. And I can still castle my king. So let's have a look at this, you know, how's this going to pan out? I've also got queen here, looks quite good. This is attacking that pawn and threatening mate there. But then he would simply take my knight, right? In fact, if I, yeah, move my queen here. That's not good. I could put my knight here. Quite like that square. This knight's pinned. Or do I want to move my bishop around there? There, queen takes, drop back. Queen is then defending both pawns, though. Okay. Hmm. Knights attack twice as well. Remember, the bishop could take it. <laughs> Let's take the knight off. knights off. <clears throat> I think I'm in a good place. Don't know about swapping queens off, though. We've got an opposite coloured bishop ending. I have much better centre, and I could still castle my king. Especially if I put my bishop here. Okay, so yes. King takes. I'm going to manoeuvre my bishop round to here and stop this pawn's advance. I'm going to castle my king, and I'm going to try and throw my pawns at the centre of the board. That comes with check, straight off. Okay, he's attacking an undefended pawn. I'll just defend it with my rook. Oh, he says I'm probably the most high-rated player he's played. 
Great, it's the way to improve. Okay, King's now moved. Right, do I castle or do I play this? I think this is more critical, I think it's more important. I don't want to allow this pawn to advance. This pawn also can't advance. Okay, now Rook's attacking this. Can't push because we've got two attackers, only one defender. Okay. Uh, huh. So that's not a bad move. Could drop my bishop back and defend it. I think that's the only way. You've got to be pragmatic. Got to be pragmatic. Love the fact his king's in the middle. Okay, let's just castle now. Under three minutes on the clock now. He's used up quite a lot of my time with that quite tricky opening. Playing very solidly for 1,000. I think centralised this rook put the bishop back there, which is an important square. Okay, that's okay because it, this square is still covered, so I have time to move my rook to d8. This pawn pushes forward, bishop can simply capture. And I'm up two pawns. So where is my extra pawn? Equal, equal, different. Okay, so I've got two extra pawns on d and e. He has an extra pawn on b. So he has the pawn majority on the queen side of the board. That's, I don't like that move. It's just, d5 just looks so natural now. So if I play that, he puts his bishop here. I simply move my rook. Or I simply take the pawn and get two pawns up. And if he wants to trade rooks, he trades rooks. That pawn's still defended here. Okay, so trade rooks, good. So defended, not, not, not. King's defending, defending, defending. Okay, and my bishop's still covering this important square there. But I do have three undefended, I have two undefended pawns. <laughs> All right, okay. f6 just looks very natural. It defends this pawn and adds a, a extra control to there, although the bishop was already doing that job. Um, hmm. Okay, I just want to keep everything on dark squares now. Puffman does kind of hamper my bishop a little bit. I'm kind of inclined to move my rook up there. It stops this pawn coming forwards, puts pressure on this one, so tying the rook down. Probably move this pawn. I can attack, I can uh, push c4 if he takes, I can take with the, the rook. Okay. Uh, I think that's a move. One well, minute 40. All right, let's do this. Now, you see, king and rook in line, boom. Can you spot it, x-pack? 1969, brother's older than me. So if I go here, I'll probably attack my rook there. So maybe, okay, ooh, no, I got forked. However, ha ha. <laughs> good, good spot though. So he's not gonna lose his rook. Okay, so I'm gonna be a pawn up in the ending. Let's do an ending. Okay, and this is my extra pawn, and it's central. This is good. So now, maybe drop my bishop back to here. This just inhibits the king more, though. Can't go there or there now. And now I want to activate my king. Oh, we can slide down here, look. All right, then. Is that any good? So he can come in here. Yeah, he can't do any damage there but it means that my king also is going nowhere. 
this is starting to look a bit drawish, but he can't advance this pawn. Or this pawn, really. Well, where are you going there? What's that, what's that about? Um, hmm. Push, push. Means his bishop is going to be constrained to here, you see. I don't, I don't see the point of that move. But he's playing well. So what happened with that? How did I get... Did I walk into a fork? Yeah, it was just a dummy move. I poisoned pawn, and I just walked straight into it. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Okay, he's moved. Ah, he's moved. Right, move the pawn. We're going to end up in a situation... Where no one's going to want to move. I've got 45 seconds left as well. At least it's unrated, today. Eh? Okay, uh, I want to allow his pawn to move. Actually, I'm just going to go here. I don't. He he can't do anything to my pawns or my king, as things stand. All he can do is move these pawns. But if any of them moves and they're on dark squares, they're going to get stuck. This should be a draw. I may have to move my pawn there. He might come and attack it. I could defend this pawn with my bishop, but then I can't stop the king from coming in and attacking my bishop, so my king would still have to stay there. There's really nothing that either of us can do now. We're just going to end up moving our bishops around. My king's going nowhere. His king's going nowhere. It's going to be a draw. I can just keep moving my bishop backwards and forwards. Nothing. 30 seconds. He's going to think, but he's not going to be able to find an answer. So I'm just pre-moving my bishop. So you can't touch any of my pieces, but I can't touch his. Right, four more of those. It's going to be a draw. <laughs> right, let's do a rematch. This is good. Let's do it again. Yes. Okay. Unrated again. Scandi. Expecting queen takes. Why play the Scandinavian if you don't know what your second move is? Hovering with my knight. I'm not pre-moving it. <sighs> He's played this Scandi, which e takes d5 is the move. Huh, okay. That's interesting. I'm going to capture on Passant and win a pawn. Now he can take with the bishop or he can take with the pawn. Pawn leaves him with an isolated pawn. Bishop, also not great. Because it's uh, the bishop's right in front of the king, and there's no e pawn, so I'm inclined now. I'm going to pin this knight. Then I'm going to put my queen here and pin this bishop. Then if I move my pawn, I can put my knight here, attack the bishop, and maybe that. I might even castle and put my rook on e1. That might be a better long-term idea than shifting the queen this early. He's moved his king. Wowzers in my trousers. Okay, I'm going to have that knight off the board. Then I'm going to castle. Just left him with doubled isolated pawns now. My bishop is going to want to come to here. But it can be blocked with a pawn there. But at least, yeah, rook to e1 I think looks good. 
then simply d3, putting the pawn on a protected square. d4 is playable. That also takes this square away from the knight. d4 is playable, but then he's got c5. Giving, give, giving him the option of getting rid of his doubled pawn there. Now you broke my gambit, and I'm all over the place. <laughs> I didn't know it's a, it was a gambit. <laughs> oh no, my gambit. You can pin the knight on king and queen. That's a proper pin. Then my knight could come in here and attack the pinned piece. I was after your queen if you'd left my, light, my knight alone. All right. The Bonke Gambit. Whoa. B-O-E-H-N-K-E. -E. Okay. Let's pin the knight. <clears throat> well, that's a gambit I need to look at. He says he was after my queen. Huh. Okay, now knight out to here, knight here is the move. That's what we're going for. Can also go here and attack the bish. Okay, now the knight can't move, right? The knight's pinned. Absolute pin, because the king's behind it. Moving the knight would put the king in check. He's not allowed to do it, so. But I don't want to capture that knight. He's probably going to play h6 here, I reckon. Then, how about this? King can't go backwards. Can't go here. You attack my pawn. How dare you, sir? How very dare you? Now bishop to here comes with two threats. I've got this with a nasty chair. What are you doing? Okay, the knight is still pinned. I have a check. Attacking king and... Th oh, okay, let's do that. That's too tempting. I can't resist that. Knight's still pinned. Because if he moves it, queenie's gone. And now I have a fork on queen and rook, yeah? Um, yeah. The queen's got to come off this diagonal. And then this knight's only going to have one defender. What the huh? What the hey? The who? Right, let's think this through. Knight takes queen. Bishop takes queen. I take knight. He takes, I take back. It's kind of winning anyway, but there's no reason not to play f3 because this is still on and this is still on. So that was a desperate move by my opponent, okay. Now what I would love to do would be put a knight on here or here with a fork on queen and king, but that ain't possible. Why did you put your queen there? Okay, so now I've got this attacking the queen, but he's going to take my knight. So first we capture the rook. He's not going to take this. A better move might be that. But then when I recapture... Oh, he gets my bishop! That's quite good. Right, I'm a piece up right now. Is that... What did I... Okay, but I'm about to be two pieces up. And then I'm going to go back to one piece up if queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen, that's a huge error because that's just an equal trade. But then again, look, his bishop's still on prees. But so is my knight. I'd love to play that and win the rook. But I can't because of this bishop, so I'm going to grab the bishop. He's going to capture my knight. Wow! You missed something. Check. This guy's good. I like playing this guy. Check. And you're going to lose that. So what am I? Up the exchange only. And two pawns. Jeepers. Creepers. Boys and girls. Okay. Let's grab the bishop. I think it's safe. There's no back rank idea. He can, he can play queen here. 
but I'll just go, I think, here. Now that's not a check and that's not a check. Or that, or that. So we can't... All the checking squares, I think, are out of the picture. Like seven squares, he could check me on with a queen, but they're all covered. Apart from that one. Ha! Okay, I'm inclined to go here now. Again. Oh, you beggar, you fecker, you. Now, the only checking square is there. He's playing like a cornered animal. Okay, now, I have to get my rook involved. If I can get my rook here with check, right? So I need something kind of forcing. So let's start with the check here. I'm slightly up on time. He's gonna go here or here. Then maybe rook d1 and threaten mate, yeah? Let's throw in another check. Is he gonna go here or here? Either way, I think I'm gonna play rook d1. And this rook d8 would be check. Oh, no, it wouldn't. Queen's guarding that square. But it's not anymore. Wow, great game. Well done. Good game. Let's do it again. Rematch. That was fantastic. He shouldn't have moved his queen. Queen was defending that square. King safety first. Remember that? Always king safety. Right, what are you going to do now? Mises opening. So that's kind of... I don't know about this because it's, it's blocking off his bishop already. Okay, I'm going to do what I generally recommend, which is a uh, the reversed London. However, looks like he's coming up with a pawn chain, but this is okay. You know, I, I just want to develop now. I'm not thinking about attacking really at, at this point. Okay, so let's bring out the knight now. So if his knight comes into here, I can play knight d7 and offer to trade knights, but he, he'd have invested two moves in his knight to my one. He wants to bring his queen out, yeah? Is that the idea? I can block with my knight a couple of ways. I can also block with the pawn. So I'm just going to proceed with e6, I think. See, this would be one of those attacks that isn't really an attack. Bishop's now defended, pawn's defended. It's not really an attack. We talked about this. Okay, I'm going to play standard London style. Probably my knight's now going to come to d7. Okay, interesting. I'm inclined to take the pawn. Pawn takes... Got three attackers, haven't I? One, two, three. Counting attackers and defenders. So I need to take the pawn. He's going to have to capture. But now what do I do? Bishop takes or knight takes? <clears throat> Bishop takes. I've got quite a few light squared pawns, so... <laughs> I'm down a piece again. I'm being outwitted. Getting far too excited playing these fun games. Right, game on. He's still got nine minutes left. Grr. I'm going to put grr. <sighs> See, I was just looking at my own pieces there. I spotted... Okay, now, can I get my knight there with a fork? Not really. Um, queen here. Bishop here. OK, 
Okay, slow down, Hunty. Eight minutes left. Plenty of time. That wouldn't be a bad move, but it would lose a pawn. So it would be a bad move. It's getting far too excited there. Shouldn't ever get excited. You can get excited. Okay, so he's, he's doing that so that the bishop can be freed up. So now he probably wants to play this. Uh, that pawn is defended by the bishop. Defended, defended. Everything's defended, right. Should we attack at the queen? Then if bishop there, I take queen, he takes, I would get the bishop, so. What should I think about castling? See, if I put my bishop here and he castles, he's got two defenders on there, he's got rook and king. However, I do need to get my bishop out of there, so let's play this. If he puts his bishop there, we could trade bishops and trade queens, and then if pawn takes, he will get an isolated pawn, which is a slight weakness, but I'm down in material. I'm down a piece for a pawn right now. So I want to use my one pawn advantage somehow. Again, we're in an opposite color bishop situation. So I've got more pawns on light squares. I've got two still on dark squares. Yeah, we thought that might happen. But now you see he can force the exchange. Is that any good? Attack his queen. He takes my bishop. I take his queen. He takes my queen. I take his... Hang on. There takes, takes, takes. No, there's no knight takes. That doesn't really work. This bishop's undefended if the queen moves. Don't think that works. Attack the queen, he takes my bishop. I take his queen, he takes my queen. I don't have any checks or anything. So I think castling is the right way to go. Let him do this. Then I think recapture with the queen. Leave myself that move. That's quite a nice move. It's it's good and defensive. Okay, so now... Oh, now he's threatening this, isn't he? How dare you? Okay, I'm going to push that. Get rid of that idea. Okay, it means that this square is now not defended. But if I play my, queen to, my knight to here, attack the queen... The queen really does still need to defend this bishop. Now I take, pawn takes, queen takes, he's in check. And where's his king security gone? Can't go there, 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 there. He's only got a few options. Block, block, dodge, dodge. Okay, so he's gone for blocking with the bishop. <clears throat> Still, everything's defended apart from this pawn. So let's throw in a check there. Really good, important skill to be able to scan the board and see what's undefended quickly. Right, king has to go there to save the pawn. Then I've got maybe knight here with a threat of mate, so that might force the bishop to take. Do we want to do that? Or knight to here. Shall I go here with a threat of... Now it's more of a threat. So I could have played knight here, threatening queen here, but that he could have just grabbed off the knight and swapped his bishop for my knight, right? This move threatens to check from here, which also comes with a fork on the queen, which is nice. Just under six minutes, he's got six and a half. It doesn't look like <clears throat> this is gonna come down to a time scramble. So I think he's got to move one of these pieces. He can't defend that square with anything. Ha ha! So now, a couple of options. Queen there, check. 
I'm knight here. I'm not really threatening mate then, am I? Oh, yeah, I am. I am, I am, I am. I'm threatening mate and I'm threatening the queen. I'm threatening queen takes g2. Checkity, 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 mate. And you need my king and queen. Okay, he's got this. I have this. But then he's got that. And I dodge. But he has to defend this pawn. If this queen takes, dodge out the way. Queen can't go there, can't go there. There, queen takes, king g7. Okay, let's just prepare it. How about that move? Defends the pawn, so now I can play this, try and dislodge the queen. If the queen goes here, though, that's a bit of a pain. There, queen there. Even just here, hit the knight. The knight's got nowhere to go. Oh, no, the knight can take that then. It's only defended once. <laughs> he says, later I will have to analyse the rook move. I don't get it. Hmm. Didn't see that one coming. Okay. If there he takes my queen, I take his queen, he takes my, my knight. Yeah, I don't... It wasn't a great move, mate, was it really, to be honest? <sighs> Curses, right. What have we got? There's no... Good checks. So I'm going to lose three points in material. Now, if I go here, say he takes my queen, I capture with a fork on queen and bishop, I've lost material. So I've lost four points in that trade, and I'm probably not going to get it back. Here, is there anywhere I can defend my knight where it's... Or is there anything else I can attack? Here, he simply takes the knight. just doesn't work. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to give up the knight and play on. Giving up the knight is three points. Giving up the queen rook exchange is four points difference. Attacking the queen doesn't work. He takes, I take. He takes the knight anyway. But I do have an open up rook. Doesn't really help. So what compensation can I get if I allow him to capture my knight? Let's go for this. That rook takes. I can at least pin the rook. And he's going to be up two minor pieces. Okay, queen's taken. Down to just over two minutes. Am I really playing a 1,000 here? You should be much higher rated, my friend. Hmm. Attack is knight. I've got two defenders on there. No, I haven't. <laughs> Almighty. 
Okay, a knight takes this, he's attacking my queen, but I've got queen here, but then he takes the rook. Yeah, that's okay, that might work. <laughs> oh, well that's uh, convenient. Okay, let's push this pawn to get out of this hassle. Don't think that was your best move by a long way. He actually had knight takes there. I can't take that with the rook. Now he's taken a pawn. What are you thinking, eh? King and Queen are now in line. Okay, so you're thinking about that, but I'm definitely going to play this, right? So that stops ideas of... <gasps> he's won my Rook. This guy's far too good. That's just not right. I don't want to trade Queen, so... I'm going to do this. But now he's going to come in this way. Given up a minor piece. He's eight points up in material. I'm down a rook and a minor piece. Wow. You are way better than 1027. Okay. He's going in with the bishop now. takes, then bishop takes, and I have to go here, then bishop moves. I think he's absolutely got me on the canvas. We're going to have to have a decider, aren't we? Hmm. He says, I blunder a lot, trying not to blunder. <sighs> okay, well, that just surely drops the rook. And he can't take, can't take this pawn. He can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. I blunder a lot trying not to blunder, he says, and then blunders. Right, I'm down a bishop. I'm up a pawn. I want to force his king to here, because then I've got rook f8 with a a pin on the queen. Let's go here with check. I could have just grabbed the bishop, but okay. What do I do? Do I grab the bishop now? I grab the bishop because it's. I've got to. I've surely got to. I'm attacking the rook. He's going to want to move his rook over here. I do have a check. Oh, he's got a check. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, come on then. Let's do an ending if you want to do an ending. So there I should have a slight edge with relatively equal material. I'm actually up a pawn. Oh, mate. You absolutely have me by the knackers there. Okay, so I've got a... I've got a check. King's got to go there. Check again. If King goes here, he's done for. If he doesn't, I've got a draw if I want it. Oh, right. Here I'm attacking the rook. Now this King's going to hunk it in pretty good there. 
Okay, so now I'm thinking about rook d2 attacking some pawnage. He's down to 1 minute 38. I've got less than 30 seconds. Game on. Red alert, guys. Red alert. Okay, check. Don't know why you moved that pawn. Do not know why you moved that pawn. Okay, I think my best option here is to force a draw with only 20 seconds left on the board. Now, the blook, rook, blook can't rock. The blook can't rock. Okay, now what have you got? You've got rook blocks here. I've got this. Rook can't block again, you're gonna lose your queen, mate. 17 seconds left. Okay, this is when you see your Eric Rosens and people like that just playing like lightning. I can't do that. That's checkmate, though. Oh, what did you do, mate? He's got this. I've got this. I've got that. I've got that. That. You can't go any of these. Okay. Let's go here. Don't know why. Forty seconds. I've got ten seconds. Okay, here. I'm going to play this pawn up now. Because I know it's not a blunder. I've got a check here. No, I haven't got a check here. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, mate. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do something. Don't play another Scandinavian. If he does, I'm going to play the tennis and gambit. <sighs> Pits. Okay. Right, it's attacking undefended pawn. Let's defend. No danger of this bishop coming out. It's too many pawns in the way. me by the danglies mate okay I'm gonna try this takes takes if Queen takes I've got a knight to recapture he doesn't have the same luxury you see does undefend my knight but it's just a bit of fun Okay, now I'm going, definitely going to trade queens. Now his king's been forced to move. What do you think? Bishop here and then castle looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Bishop here defends his pawn. Knight can't advance. In fact, knight's got no safe squares. None. Not one. Zilch. Zero. Zip. So today I am mostly drinking black tea with Jinko biloba, which is an ancient tree, possibly the most ancient tree known to man. There are specimens in the world that are estimated to be 2,000 years old, and uh, it's quite unique because it's kind of an evolutionary dead end. There's nothing, there's no similar tree in the world to. Uh, <coughs> Right, this guy's too sharp. Now, if I sack my rook there for a knight, it doesn't help, because this rook can't move much. Sack my rook, he recaptures, I move there. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Okay, now move my rook, and he can't get me now. What did I miss there? Oh my goodness, it was just, it was a sitter, right? Oh my lord. Should I could have just dropped my bishop back there and protected the pawn. Anyway, what's he done? He hasn't moved. Okay. Where's this knight got? Can't go there. Okay, let's see. He can't go there, there. Right, he's defending his knight. Fair enough, I get that. 
Okay, I need to develop my pieces. Uh, I'm going to try and fork him. Fork you. Anyway, Jinko biloba, ancient Chinese tree. It's been used for thousands of years in medicine. And the um, it's got various properties. It can help with, um, uh, what's it, memory loss, depression, erectile dysfunction. All kinds of good things. Okay, I'm attacking this pawn, but I'm also threatening to come here. Defended by this knight with a fork on the bishop and the knight. It's not really a threat. Being totally outplayed. Okay, let's drop this bishop back and attack the knight, try and persuade it to move. Then I'm going to centralise my knights and start trying to home in on this guy. He pushes, I can just take, take. Oh, with this pawn's dangling. Playing far too quick. That's the, yeah, you see, he's, he's, he figured it out. Okay, I take your knight, you take my knight, I take your bishop. I take your knight, you take my bishop. I centralize my knight. It's kind of more of a bishopy game than a knighty game. Okay, so I'm going to move my. If I move my knight here, he takes, I take, I'm attacking his bishop. That was. So you've spotted that threat, yeah? But what you haven't spotted is there's now two attackers and only one defender. I should have probably taken with the knight, but I kind of like these knights. So starting to come in towards this guy. So I've got my piece back. Well, in a way, I've so I've got his knights. <clears throat> Material is equal. He's got a rook and a pawn, and for the loss of two knights. Okay, I'm going to come here. Think about coming in there. I'm not too unhappy with this situation right now. Rooks and nine with the bishop, which is currently defended. So big imbalances in the game. What's going on? Well, he's... Okay, I can come in there anyway. Attack this guy. If he wants to save it, he can come back. But actually, with pawns and light squares, maybe this isn't the strongest bishop in the world. Knight is defended there. Now... If I take king takes, there's no mega tactics, are there? I've got a knight in there with check, but it doesn't really help. I need to really involve my rook. So let's think about getting the rook into the game. Oh, it's got knight there as well. That's quite good. Um, knight here attacking the bish. And putting a stop to his pawn advance ideas. Bish can go here, face off with my bish. Well, it's got to, really. Unless he wants to defend with a king or defend with a rook. Okay, that's not fantastic. I've got knight in here now. It's attacking the rook. Can't go there. He can go here. But then... Oh! It was hanging! Hmm. <clears throat> What a jelly head. Okay, he was hanging. Jeez. Right, attack the rook. Now, if the rook moves, that was just dumb. Right, so now what are we down? Two pawns. Okay, we can live with that. Check. We can live with that. <sighs> Tank this bishop. You come here, I don't care. 
Bishop's only got two safe squares, or he's got rook here. Um, my bishop is currently defending this pawn set. Okay, I thought you might do that. My king can defend this all day long. Can't come here. If he goes there, I can just go there. Haha. -ha. All right. Bishop's defending that. King cannot advance. King's only got two squares. Got thoughts about a check here. What a muppet. Well, that just blocks off his bishop. Right, I'm slightly down in material. I'm down in pawns, right? And these are the pawns. So can we find a way to eradicate those pawns? I'm going to throw in this check. Because that allows me to put my rook here. Let's say he advances this pawn there, thinking he's being clever. And I could grab that and threaten this one. That's all I need to do is take out a couple of pawns. Okay. If I take, take... Doesn't really help. Um, does it? Takes, takes. Rook f4 check. Can't go there, 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 there. He's got to go there. Go on then, let's try that. Let's try it, just for fun. He's only got one square. Bishop's defending that. He can't go there or there because of the knight. Okay, and now... I can check again. He might come here though and attack the rook. I can check with the bishop. And he can't come downwards or here, so he, he's got to get there. At least I put up a fight. I told him you haven't lost. Um, that could be fun, but a bit on the slow side. What else have we got? That. Looking at this, maybe if he comes after my rook. Still up two pawns, mate. Okay, he's down on time though, and he, he, he you see, because he's a bit less experienced, he, he, ha he does have to take longer. So as long as I don't carry on completely fluffing up my moves. I should be able to think quicker and make better use of my time. All right, that's where I want his king to be. So now I'm just going to drop my rook away, because I want this. King and rook fork. So he should really defend that. Okay, he's missed it. You've missed it. It's the Battle of the Blunderers. That's the name of this video. Okay, well, that's fine. And I have a pawn. So now I'm, he's got one extra, he's got two extra pawns. <laughs> he's got two extra pawns, but I'm up the exchange. So we're actually equal in material. So what's important here? He's got the bishop pair, which is a big advantage. He's also got a threat of a pin on my rook and we are not having that. So I'm gonna step away with my king. Time to start centralizing your king. Well, it's not a threat now, sweetheart. Look. Okay, I can attack your bishop. Just step out of the way. Okay, he's got that. If he wants to trade bishops, great. Because then it's rook against bishop, and that's a m much easier proposition for me. Stop it. I can't move my bishop. It's blooming pinned. How about this, then? Pin his bishop. 
You pin me, I pin you. Right, I want to get rid of the bishop pair. The bishop pair in the end game is such a powerful combo. I don't care. You can't capture with your king. He should have pushed his pawn. He can't capture with a king. Oh, mate, what have you done? Right, there's no pawns on, on light square, so I'm just going to step aside and give check. See if I can win this, for, this pawn. And I'm a minute up. I, I do not deserve to win this game at all. Okay, so now the name of the game is Step on the Light Squares. That sounds like fun. <sighs> Sweeping up pawns, but I can't go there. It's a dark square, remember? Now, he can't defend this pawn with the bishop because he can't... There, it's blocked and anywhere else is too slow. Okay, this is fine. And what do we do now? Do we relax? No. No. I've got a check there, and he, which he can't block by the pawn, because the pawn's pinned by the rook, yeah? Huh. Okay, just time to start throwing pawny up the board. Do you see? Do you see what I said about relaxing? Now we have an equal end game, and I have double pawns. Okay, so the big question is, do I put my pawns on light squares and then get my king over this side of the board? Yes, that's what we do, right? That is what we are doing. That is the name of the game. He's going to come off. He can't go there, though. He might go here, which I guess I'm just going to kind of come round. I blundered my rook. Oh no, my rook. <sighs> Battle of the blunderers. Let's add a friend while we're here. Oh no, my clock. Hang on, what's going on? Okay, he's moved, and I didn't notice. All right. Just bishop here. I just want to weave my way around, avoiding stepping on the dark squares. Okay, now his promotion square is light. If he pushes that pawn, it's not good. Because I get to go here. And then his king. Oh. Hey, all you blunder spotters out there. Okay, I'm going to put my bishop here where it's at least protecting the. I should have taken the... Should I? No, that's a good move. Good move by my opponent. However, I could tempt his bishop away. Okay, so he chose not to capture with his bishop. My bishop's defending both my pawns. My That bishop is defending the promotion square. So now I'm going to go after this guy. 1 minute 45. Tickety tick. This bishop can't move, because I grabbed the pawn. This pawn can't promote, because bishop takes, and then returns back to its position. Doesn't matter. That, that doesn't help. You've got to protect this pawn, but... Uh. So he could put his bishop here, right? But then I come after this pawn. Haha! <laughs> So the thing is, my king can't attack both pawns. Why have you gone there? You should have gone here, where you're defending this guy, yeah? Good endgame. 108, 107. <clears throat> All right, now he's figured it out. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up to this guy again. And he's going to have to jump back down here. This should be a drawn game, really. but I may be able to flag my opponent. Okay, now, let's go here. The idea is about bringing my pawn up there. That could be good. Right, I've still got this. If he goes here, I've got bishop there defending both. Right, now, your king cannot move. At all. 
because my pawns are guarding all these squares. Ha ha! Now you can't promote. Okay, if I go here and he checks, I've got this. 40 seconds remaining. 40 seconds remaining. If he promotes, king takes queen. If he shuffles his bishop around, actually he can go after this pawn. But then I take this pawn. Fascinating stuff. Okay, here, checks, king takes. King takes. So your pawn down now, mate. King takes. 25. There is a pawn that you can attack and that I cannot defend. So to win the game, he would have to get my pawns off the board. Well, oh, I've taken my stupid eye. Right, it's a draw. It is a draw. Insufficient material. Well done. <laughs> Two draws. That was fantastic. All right. Well, wonderful, wonderful fun. Um, happy to be the fool and show you lots of different ways to blunder. Of course, that was my intention all along. Uh, should simply should not have should not have taken my bishop off there. I was just saying that it, in order to basically save the game and get a draw, he had to get my pawns off the board. Because if you've even got a king and a pawn left on the board, you can still win a game because the pawn can technically become a queen. Now, um, and I made the mistake of moving my my bishop off that diagonal where it was no longer protecting the pawn. Simple thing. And then I can't protect this guy. Whatever I do, he can capture. And there we go, draw. Very, very interesting stuff. But I, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I, I had enough time on the clock to figure that out. Just another blunder. But there you go, that's the game. At least we've had a laugh. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. x pack nice to see you, my friend. And uh, hopefully we'll have more tussles in the future because that was a ball of fun. Okay, see you later, guys.